Maganda oh my god, como esta everybody? This is Scott Expat in the Philippines with CJ. I'm dropping CJ off at Rona Lynn's and Steve's place. Yeah, and I, Jack. And Jack's, yes. Go to Jack's house. Yeah, CJ's going to Jack's house. And I'm going straight back into the hospital because Arlene's in there. And, uh. Mummy's hurting. Yeah, Mummy's hurting here in chest, as CJ says. So, we're going to, uh, I'm going to do that. Wow, nice car. Nice four wheel drive with big light on it, yeah. So we're going in there to do that, and um, yeah, uh, I don't know what she at the moment. We went in at four o'clock this morning, and uh, at that time it was four to six hour wait for people, and then she got seen around about six thirty, I think it was. And uh, 6.30 or 7.30, one of the two. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, because I'm a bit thingy. Uh, but I'm all right, guys, I'm all right. I'm all right, no drama. Um, but uh, yeah, so she had some blood tests and then uh, we had to wait for the blood tests to go through. And then uh, she's got a bed. Uh, but they will ring me and let me know um, when she'll be okay to go and pick up. But I'm going to drop CJ at Stephen Rona Lynn's place. Thank you, Stephen Rona Lynn. Much appreciate it. And then I'm going to head back into the hospital, pick up Arlene. So we've been in there from since. Um, 4.30 this morning. But she's in good spirits, but she's a bit... Dang, I'm more worried about her than... Um, I really am. I'm so worried about what's happening, because unlike the Philippines, uh, in the emergency ward, you can go in there. You can be with your wife or your wife can be with your husband. Um, I think there's only one one or two people and your mother or your father, one of the two, can be in with you when you're in emergency in the Philippines. Here? Nah. They don't advise it and I think that's a lot to do with the CV, but over there in the Philippines it's a different story. Which, that's probably why I like the Philippines better than I like my own country. Sorry. So I've just got to take it easy going back because it's wet. It's been raining. Um, we've got some bad weather coming again. Uh, we're in winter, autumn winter. I call it autumn winter because yes, it's both the same. Raining. And raining, yes. Yeah, and when... <laughs> Plus, Daddy had to get his breakfast. I had to get Granny's breakfast. Get Granny a cup of tea. Cloudy day. Yeah, cloudy day. And I had to get his breakfast. Uh, we pick some uh, banana. So he said two bananas. Lucky duck. <laughs> and I had my neutral green and a cup of uh, yeah, and tea. Yeah, tea. Yeah, Daddy. Oh, yeah, and I got Granny a cup of tea too. So we're going to just, uh, I'm going to just do that and then I'm going to uh, head back out to the hospital um, in sunshine and go and pick her up. It's about an hour from here. Well, it feels like an hour. It's probably about 40 minutes. One of those things, unfortunately, guys, that just crop up. Anyway, we'll be back later.
will be back later and uh, I'll uh, do, do the run to the hospital. Maybe if I back into Steve's drive, it might be easier. I can just go straight out. Back soon, guys. Hey, man, up on. Come on, everybody. I just went in to check and see about Arlene and see how she is. She's okay. She's in um, ICU. Uh, <clears throat> they did some chest x rays to find out where this piece of shellfish is from the prawn. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, they basically gave me their um, times and uh, their phone number so I know um, um, what's going on um, and they said that they will let her know that I rang and I spoke to her, text messaged her because she was asleep before and got all that sorted out so we just got to wait I'm going around to see CJ see how he is see how they're playing together and um, popping back to see Steve and Rona Lynn and um, sit there and wait until Arlene rings me to go and pick her up uh, we'll be back later, guys. Just giving you an update. But she's alright. There you go, back again. Well, Arlene's okay. She's in um, a secured ward up there. Uh, She's got good spirits, even though she's a bit down. She wants to come home, which is normal, I suppose. Um, but she's feeling a little bit better, but she's still got a bit of a cough. They're going to keep her in there uh, till probably Tuesday. So anyway, we're going to head off home. That's the emergency ward. Just there. Tomorrow, I have to park in the general normal car park. Yeah! And pay. <laughs> here, I didn't have to. But you can't uh, sit here all the time. So, I suppose when you look at it, um, lucky to do that. I'll be able to park there and sign in and then go out. I didn't even get fined, which was good. So we'll head off home now. We'll go this way. Stuff going that way through St Albans. It's too far. It's called the Joan Kerner Hospital now. It's not the uh, Sunshine Hospital. She used to be a premier uh, for our uh, state years ago. It's the Western Ring Road. I'll be going across that in about five minutes. Oops. I haven't been this way for a while, so it's sort of a bit thingy with the uh, lights and that. I could have stayed till eight o'clock, but um, I need to get home for Grand too as well. Yeah, it's fun stuck in the middle of three people you love. Arlene, 
CJ and Grand. Very hard. Here we go. Over the old VJ Witten Bridge now. Into my left hand lane. Daddy Bear's a bit tired because I've been up since four o'clock. Mummy's been up a lot longer than Daddy. Um, she's been up since yesterday. And um, Mummy got Daddy up this morning at 4 and we came over to the hospital at 4.30. Uh, and um, had to get her checked into the hospital, then she had to go and have a bl uh, blood test. And, uh, but we had to wait because they had to do a few things. And she had to go and have a blood test later on in the day. And then um, go straight to... Uh, the room to be uh, checked in and looked at over and uh, the doctors you know it's a big day when you're up that early to uh, do everything it really is a big day and it is tiring so you sort of got to prepare for it That's Bring Bang Park over there on the left. That's where it's at. Think CJ left the window down on this car. I can hear the wind. Yep. Amazing no one broke into the car while I was in the hospital. Main sunshine area. Service station. I might go into McDonald's and get myself a drink. My mouth is dry. My tummy is empty. I haven't had well, I haven't had anything to eat since lunchtime. So, as to you know, show. What Arlene's got, I don't know. Uh, she said to me TB, tuberculosis, I think. So we're going to find out more soon. Um, it's uh, very strange because she was tested she was cleared of tuberculosis before we left the Philippines so I'm sort of wondering if it's something else uh, could be a infection um, in the chest could be just a chest infection that's opened up a bit and they want to clear it 
I do remember she, um, Aline, was uh, coughing earlier. Yes, that's the moon on my top uh, left there in front of you. Um, yeah, so um, it's a bit, uh, you know, funny. So we're going to look. We'll look into it a little bit more as we go along. But I'm, uh, I'm more upset for her. Um, it's, you know, it's the first time we're uh, away together and, you know, CJ, the three of us. Here's it, Steve and Rona Lins. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Rona Lynn. We really do appreciate it uh, for helping us. Rona Lynn also has her own channel, too, as well. Rona Lynn Silouan. Um, check it out, guys. Um, they've been good friends to us since... Um, yeah, we've met them, so, you know, it's been great, and we love them, they're good people, and, uh, you know, that's great, you know, you don't get that anymore these days, finding good friends uh, is very hard to uh, find, so, you know, we're lucky we've got some good friends, and uh, good people to look after CJ and it helps when they've got a little toddler as well themselves it makes it easier boy this road's dark of a night time gotta watch myself here too because sometimes you get the odd kangaroo Come out from the right over in the paddocks in the right there over near the Organ Pipes National Parks. There's sometimes bounce across here, not very often there, but you do have to keep your eyes above on the road. do a few things tomorrow check out uh, Arlene's the box the Bellic Vine box uh, we got some ice in there I think she would say leave it until uh, she got home but I might check it out because there's food in there and I don't know why there's mice in there but I found I, I think I do know why because the dog uh, feed boxes in there as well, so it wouldn't surprise me. They're going into somewhere where it's nice and warm. And not just because I'm coming home early, uh, no, it's a lot better if you come home leave a little bit early because um, the traffic's not as bad. Today's been hectic. Ooh. I've had a hectic day. Talk about the long, lonesome road. But I'm not alone. 
have a cow in front of me, I've got a cow, some cars behind me, so. and cars across the road. <laughs> Here. It has uh, McDonald's. Give yourself a thick shake. Probably small chips. Something to nibble on before I get home. Getting her checked in and then sitting there waiting for someone to come and get her and then going out because I couldn't go up unlike the Philippines where oh yes you can come because now that's one good thing about the Philippines you can go with them anyway guys there's the drive through over there We'll catch you later. Take care, enjoy, and remember life's good. Bye for now. This has been Scott Expat in the Philippines. See you later.